where I work, and I happened to be playing Wayfaring Stranger, and Wayne Moss, huge producer in Nashville, Cinderella Studios, produced everyone from Brenda Lee to Kiss, <laughs> Chris Christopherson, but he's most famous for his guitar line on Roy Orbison's um, Pretty Woman. And he said, I, I like your style. You know, he's man a few words and amazing man. And, and a few months later, he, he asked me to jam with him. I jammed. A week later, he said, I would love to have the honor to produce your album. Wow. Huge. And it's still kind of sinking in, and it's been a couple of months. We start April 11th. Wow. And it will be, a, it's not a full length album because I wanted, I wanted it out quickly. So we're doing six original songs and one public domain. And you wrote those songs? I wrote those songs. Wow. Yes. I can't wait to hear, can't wait to get my hands on it. Yes, and they can just, if whoever wants um, <laughs> the CD or whatever they want, they can just go to www.laceycarpentermusic.com. It's L-A-C-I-E, Carpenter, like Karen Carpenter, music.com. And they can send me an email. They can, I will be putting up pre-sales pretty soon. So they can inquiry or write me or Facebook me. <laughs> well, folks, I'll tell you right now, as soon as we get it, you'll be hearing it on the air here at WSVU. So, Lacey, we'll probably wear it out. I Perfect. Want it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in, in, the, in the career, and obviously in the kind of connection you just talked about, mm -hmm. you're rising quick. I know a lot of work has gone into this. You know, people that stand in awe of, you know, the stars and what have you, what they don't realize is the investment of time and patience. Yeah, no, patience, heavy. yes. <laughs> you know, how, you know, I have to ask this question, how long has it taken you to get where your dream started, not when you were four, yes. but, when you, but when you made up your mind to come to Nashville and get to the level you are right now? 20 years. Wow. I've yeah. been wanting this for so long. I've been practicing on my violin and maybe singing and performing 20 years. Well, it's 20, 30 years to be an overnight sensation, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're phenomenal. Thank you're you so you're much. Up. You're just phenomenal. So we'll all see you on TV shortly. I know. Oh, yeah. That would be fun. <laughs> Let's do that. Well, can't wait to hear the next songs. So. Okay. How about an original fiddle tune? It's called Sounds The Hurt and Waltz. It will be on my album. Songwriters tell me that, that music is constantly rolling around in their mind, and 
thing and they'll put it down like that. You know, Absolutely. You know, obviously that's the case with that. Yes, that yes. Level. I had come back from, from Nashville actually just on a trip at, from a workshop, a music workshop, and I was going, I have to, I just have to take the plunge and do it. Yeah. And that's what happened right there. Wow, it's beautiful. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, so. That Taylor, that she plays a Taylor guitar and uh, it's one of the most beautiful Taylors I've ever laid my eyes on. Thank you so much. It got over in Texas, Hawkins, Texas. Mm -hmm. And it was used by a wonderful guitarist and fortunately he had a mechanical accident and uh, did some stuff, injuries to his fingers and I was lucky enough to he passed the torch to me, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna have to comment too on your uh, guitar strap. I, I've never seen one quite so worn. It has her name Thank on you. it. Thank you. It does have my name on it, and it has it has sheepskin, wow. and right. it's beautiful. One of the a bass player in Texas that I worked with for ten almost ten years made it for me for Nothing. my birthday. Wow, beautiful. Thank you. What you got next for us? How about a good Tennessee Ernie Ford oh, song? Yeah. yeah. <laughs>